Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I can animate these gears. It, I'm trying to come up with a, a little project and I was thinking about gears might work and what about animating them? So here I am in Photoshop to animate these gears. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Window and right here we have, have Timeline and I want to have the Timeline here so I can see what's happening. I'm just going to expand my timeline and what I want to do is create video timeline. Cool, so I'm going to just select the big gear and as you can see what we can animate a uh, normal layer, this is a normal layer, it's position, opacity and style but I want to to do a bit more than that. So doing, converting this layer to a smart object so right click, let's convert smart object now I can actually transform the layer, so that's really cool. So for time being I'm going to hide the small gear, so we'll just focus on this one here. So I'm going to add a keyframe to transform, and we've got five. Uh, so I want to go to about, so let's see, ten, and I'm going to command T or control T, and what I want to do is actually I'm going halfway, I'm going, so it's five, I'm going two and a half. Sorry, my bad. Because what I want to do is, I want to command the control T, free transform, and I want to put this edge right here on the corner, on the opposite side. So, I'm going like so. I'm holding shift, so I make sure that it will get to the point that it's absolutely accurate. I let go, accept the changes, and add a keyframe. So now I'm going to all the way to the bottom and I'm going to do the same. So command control T and now obviously this one here, I want to bring it back to where it was originally. So something like so and accept the changes. So if I press play, we have an animation. Very cool. So now we have to do the same to the small gear. So now we can see the small gear like so and select the small gear just like before convert to smart object and let me hide the big gear and bring back small gear and we're going to do exactly the same thing so I need to just bring this back to the beginning of the animation I'm going to click transform and now comes the tricky part I want to make sure that they always line up nicely these gear thingies uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to make sure I've got my small gear selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this area here up to where this one here is now so I'm just going to move the scrub over here and I'm just going to move it to the point that I'm happy so probably around here cool so now command or control T and I'm going just to free transform this uh, this gear, but because this one here is going clockwise, this one here has to go anti-clockwise. So I'm just going to grab the corner here, and I'm going like so. Accept the changes. Now I'm going to do again the same. Probably just a bit more. Yeah. So command or control T, free transform, and I'm going to bring the other one like so accept the changes move this the animation forward and something like so maybe probably just and it's just a bit off and command T and I'm going to do the same and as you can see Set the changes as you can see it's looking quite good so now I just want to bring it back to where it was and command T again or control T and I'm going to bring the other one in accept the changes and do the same under control T and as you can see every time we accept the changes 
adds a new keyframe. I don't know about you, but I actually like the show transform control, so I don't even need to press command or control T. But if I do so, it won't apply either the keyframe right here. So something like that, set the changes, and we're going back again. Command control T, uh, like so, accept the changes. I know it's a bit time consuming, but it can be done. And once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take too long. I've actually been playing with this and see how far I can take it. And you'll be surprised that it can be quite a lot. So just like before, one T, control T, accept the changes. And now the last one. Accept change. So let's see how it looks now. As you can see, it looks quite cool. I'm going to just hide the shutter from controls. Uh, you've got the option, you can look playback. And as you can see, super easy. So let's take a step further now. So I'm going to select the crop tool and I'm just going to expand my canvas. So something like so. Except the changes on my and uh, I'm just going to fill my background. So at this moment in time, we have the animation here. And it looks cool. I don't know, for some reason, just shift it around. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is fine as it is. The last one is not. So, this one here, and then this one here goes around, and small gear still needs to be transformed. There you go. So cool. So now, now it's fine. I think, yeah, it's fine. So now what we can do is actually, so let's first thing, First, let's select these two layers and convert them to smart object. So now we have one single layer. And I'm going to select the layer one and I'm going just to expand a bit the canvas as I was trying to do before. I don't know what happened. Accept the changes. Yeah, everything still is as it should. There you go. So fill up. So there you go, with the move tool, because now this is a, the small gear, it's actually a smart object that I can just move it around as I want. So I can come here, press play, still works. And now I can do is, I can go for new smart object via copy. And now I can actually add another one. And as you can see, it looks quite cool. But let's say I want one in the middle here, so I'm going just like before, new smart object via copy. Because if I go to uh, just command or control J, it will copy the, the the smart object. And every time I edit one, it will edit the other one. So new smart object. I'm going to double click on the icon here. OK. And I'm going to hide the big gear. I'm just going to hide it, accept the changes. And now. I've got one gear only, so something like so. And as you can see, it's quite cool. You can add more stuff to it, but it's just an example of something I've been playing with, and I think it looks quite cool. And that's it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And don't forget, share this video with your fr family, friends, and even to those you don't know. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I next post another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.